guys, I am back with another video and uh, today I'm going to be doing a top 5 uh, nerf guns so I'm going to be ranging from any strike to elite to modulus to mega um, and bear in mind these aren't, I don't, I don't own every single nerf gun of the, like everything that Hasbro has released so this is basically out of my collection of around about 34-35 nerf guns and I've got a range, so I don't own any zombie strike or accuracy strike, but I do own pretty much every other class. Yeah, so I own everything from an end strike, doom lands, modulus, mega, elite. So yeah, I'm just gonna go over the best ones. Number five, the end strike elite alpha trooper. Now this gun is amazing. The range is really good. Average for me, I got around about 68 feet. Um, my, it was about 52 feet flat, which is pretty good and about 73 feet angle so there isn't really much change so that's like 20 feet but that's not really much so, so having like a, it's all really about the straight angle really if you haven't got a good straight angle it's quite distance and that adds to your accuracy this gun is pretty accurate uh because from here from like where the darts are fired from to the tip of the barrel here it's about an inch just under an inch diameter so it spins around pretty good and it's probably about half a foot at least like put about six seven inches probably from darts to the end of the bell now it's just basically a pump action uh, rifle it's really accurate obviously as i said you got the jam door here access those nasty jams you got your uh, release button on the side here comes with a 12 dart magazine uh, it's got a sling attachment here uh, it doesn't have any other sling attachments um, Normally this would be used as a primary and also has a stock attachment point and it is capable of slam fire. Uh, the ranges do go a little bit down when you do slam fire um, but that's probably because without the stock it normally you can get less accurate with where you are because you're doing it so fast it will shake around a little bit and change where you're aiming. So that was, num that was number five. Number four the uh, long shot. So this gun came out uh, late 2000s. It's basically a sniper. It comes with a scope here, the tactical rail. The scope's actually pretty nice. Um, it's like it's got a dot and some bits on the outside. Uh, the stock. There's a little tab here. You click it and you can push it in or out. I prefer it out. So it's a little bit more spacious around the grip handle here. You've also got a bipod comes with it, pretty nice, comes with a six dart, six dart magazine and uh, that's quite accurate, goes quite far, the darts uh, aren't that quick, you, you, there's definitely a noticeable difference, you've got a jam door here, um, it's really big, it's about three inches I think, um, and also sometimes because it's really loose, it does that, like, I don't know if you saw that, it falls when it's like vertical. Yeah, and since it's got such a long barrel, that helps with its accuracy. But then, if you run out of darts, I don't know, you've got a backup pistol here, and then you can hold an extra dart up here. Really nice. Um, it's not really that useful to have slam fire with this because it's only one shot. So, that was number four. Going on to number three. I might get a lot of hate for this, but it's the Double Breach. Now, I absolutely love this blaster. Um, it's a shotgun that shoots one round at a time. It holds two in its breach system. And um, you just pull it back and you fire. Uh, and then the way you just reload it is obviously you pull that back. But if you want to load in another round, I've already got one in there, but you just push them in like that. Then you can do that. So, Pretty nice, really powerful. The ranges are actually really good for this. I shot them down my drive. I was achieving an average from around about 86 feet, and they say this can reach something like up to 90 feet. So that's pretty good. I did get some that are about 91 feet. Yep, see, so just load them into the breach system here. Just load them like that, and push them in like that. I mean, you've also got slam fire with this. It blows your load quite quick, but you can actually fire because the pullback is really small with this gun. 
Uh, it's really quick. Slam fire. Um, so, yeah, it's got a tactical rail up here. You can't add any stocks or bowels since this is a mega gun. I wish they did come out with attachments though for the mega line. They might do that at some point. But, yeah, the grip's really large. But it's really comfortable blaster. It's really streamlined. Very thin. Uh, yeah, that's number three. Now going on to number two. Okay, so now number two is a pretty big gun again, but that is the Nerf Modulus Regulator. This has to make the list no matter what. Um, it's absolutely amazing blaster. Uh, it's on the expensive line, but it's amazing. It's just so, like, customised. The customizability of this is absolutely right. amazing. It's got tactical rail up here, tactical rail underneath. When you buy it, you also get uh, three barrels, this one, this one, and this one. And this has a tactical rail as well. But then also these have um, like the attachment points to go onto other tactical rails, which is why this one's up here. It also comes with a storage stock, and it comes with uh, two 12 round magazines, so you can store your extra one here. It also holds this um, the uh, this barrel also has a scope in, but also a handle, so you can fire it from the hip. But you can take it off and store it in the stock here so it really did take, does take the storage stock and it's uh, select fire if you didn't know that um, so it fires you can fire like full auto I think it shoots around about four darts a second and if you want to you just take out your thingy and you reload it then you can switch to triple round burst or single fire and we go triple round Triple round burst is really helpful, especially when you do the operator style. And when you're out of ammo, this light bleeps. It bleeps around about for about 15 seconds, so it does let you know. It's kind of a giveaway if um, if you're like trying to stay hidden and it's flashing. You're out of ammo, you just took a shot. Yeah, but overall it's actually quite a heavy blaster, but it's kind of weird because with the select fire hit, the magazine has to be loaded quite far forward as well. That's the only downside. So your hand has to rest quite far away. It's really uncomfortable to hold it here. I mean, they do they do give you a little bit of a handle sort of thing here, but overall, it's a great blaster. Great distances. I've got 93 feet for averages. And that was in single fire. Triple round bursts. The averages were so I took the averages of the triple round bursts and I, took, I shot four times triple rounds because that's that was blown hot twelve man. That got me around about like 89 feet full auto. Uh, quite a lot of the darts got over 90 feet, but the last few sort of got 82 to like 79. So the high 70s and low 80s for full auto, but the averages were around about 86 feet for full auto. So it just depends really on when you're firing it, how how good your batteries are. I've still got I'm I haven't put more new batteries in this one yet, so it might actually achieve a lot for other ranges. Now to number one, it won't really be a surprise to many of you who are, are fond of Nerf, and that is Strife. I have two of these, I really want to get more. Um, they're just amazing. These are really customisable, you can do great things with these. And this is a one-handed semi-auto rifle, it can actually be used as a pistol and you can do amazing things like I just did there. It comes with an included six round clip and it's really small, really light, very customizable. I can just literally throw on, you know, anything you want really. Already, it's really comfortable. It's easily modified. Uh, there's many mod kits out there, Chris Vectors, whatever ones you can buy really. They're the most popular ones, so you can get scars. Um, so yeah, this is the Strife, I'll just do a quick firing. You can fire really quick as well, fast rate of fire. Uh, the average for shooting Pew, pew, pew. I got about 72 feet um, down my drive. That was around about that angle, I think. I got about 76 at about 45 degrees. That's my averages. Some got about 78, but most of them really got 72, 73 feet, really. So yeah, I'll just do a quick firing, really quick. It's really quick if you modify it, especially with new motors and like. Uh, 2S and 3S LiPo batteries, you can really get a fast rate of fire, um, a lot further distances, high FPS, I think this one 
I don't know, I haven't got a chronograph to actually measure these, but it would be really helpful. So the customizability is just amazing. I can't really stress it enough. I mean, you can put any magazine in, do awesome stuff like this. The great ejections, these new mags. Oh, I'm out of ammo for that one as well. On the, the, it's got two tack rails, stock attachment point, file attachment point. It's just everything you really want. The average price for this is £20. £20 for something. This small, this amazing. There's nothing really to miss as well. Um, so, yeah. So that's been my top five, guys. Please leave a like and comment and subscribe. In the comment section, write what your top five favourite blasters are and what you want me to do for my next uh, video as I've released a uh, Nerf Double Breach uh, review for that. Uh, I think I should review some other things, like upload the review of my regulator. I did one of those. I haven't uploaded that one. But maybe do a Nerf or do something really fun. That's all for me, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see ya!